Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a day to night makeup tutorial. How to take day makeup and turn it into night makeup without having to change or wash off your face or anything. Um, for those nights that you just, you have things to do in the morning and you have things to do at night and you don't have time to freshen up or anything. So you just have 20 minutes to pop on a new look and look completely different. So keep on watching if you want to figure out how to make a dewy day look turn into this grungy nighttime look so yeah just keep watching so let's get started with the daytime look um, I'm gonna start off by spraying my face with the pixie hydrating milky mist I love this thing this is like my third bottle I'm obsessed with this so we're just gonna let that dry Next, I'm going to go in with um, a lightweight concealer that's not going to cover up too much. It's also not going to be cakey and it's not going to be problematic later on when we want to put more stuff on top. So, I'm picking up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I use two shades because they don't have one that's exactly my shade. One is too dark, one is too light. Story of my life. Okay. So, I'm going to grab 15 first, which is the darker shade. And I'm going to go in. This. And then we're going to grab a little bit of five. If I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure that they have like a bunch of shades. So if you're like a completely different skin tone, I'm pretty sure you'll still be able to find your shade in this range. So as you can see, this is not like full coverage at all whatsoever, but it does the job. It still conceals without being heavy or doesn't really feel like anything. It's a little bit tacky, but we'll set that later. I'm going to grab the darker shade, number 15, and conceal any spots. Actually, I'm going to put that up in the back of my hand. Sometimes for spots, I like to use my finger because it gives a little more coverage than the sponge because it's not soaking up any product. This one's pretty much evened out. Still have redness peeking through, still have my pimples peeking through, but that's no big deal. We're trying to embrace that. Now I'm going to grab the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder from Maybelline. This stuff is so good and so cheap, like Laura Mercier, who... I'm going to pick up a setting brush. This one's the Juvia's Place one. I love this brush. It comes in a little set with like other eye brushes. Tap off the excess and just lightly set. We want like basically no powder under our eye. We don't want to look like heavy. Like you don't even, you don't want that much. Just carry that to the lid. Right there. And we're good. If you have an oilier face, you could like go in and set the rest of your face. But my skin can't handle that. So next we're going to go on to my least favorite part. We're going to do our brows. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. I didn't realize that they were a pair. But okay, so we're just going to fill those guys in. All right, now we're gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna start off with bronzer. I'm using my butter bronzer and I'm using the lighter shade. This is in light bronze. And I'm gonna take a brush, The this is the Morphe E3. And it's a little bit tapered so that I get a more precise but still diffused look.
Now we're gonna add some life to the face and put on some blush. This is Burt's Bees Bare Peach. Now since it's daytime, I like to take a little bit of a lighter highlight, something more subtle. So I'm taking Lunch Money from ColourPop. It's a really pretty champagne-y color. Blends in really nicely with my skin tone and it's not too, too metallic. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna grab a little fluffy brush for your eye and take our bronzer that we were just using. Get it all up in there. And just add a little bit to the outer corner and crease. Just for a little definition, you know. So once you're done with that, it's time to give your lashes a good curl. So my lashes are curled. I'm gonna grab the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love this mascara. I think everyone needs it in their life. There's no need for expensive mascaras. So feel free to really go heavy with the mascara because it's not really something that you can reapply a lot of later. And I'm going to leave it just to top mascara because it makes your eyes look more open and fresh. So, Lastly, I'm going to take a lip balm because it's daytime. We need SPF. So I'm taking the Sugar Berry. I don't know what this is called. It's a little lip balm with color. So <laughs> So now we look like this. Now that we're daytime ready, we're ready to go out, maybe get some groceries, maybe go out for lunch. We have this look down. Let's see what we could do to turn this into a nighttime look. I'm going to start off with concealer. I'm going to take a heavier concealer than we used before. I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to take Fair, only Fair. And I'm going to lightly, we already have concealer on. We don't want to go too heavy. Next, we're gonna make these brows a little more intense, a little more nighttime appropriate. So I'm gonna grab the Cabral by Benefit. This is in the shade three, by the way. And this is a pomade, so it's a little more thick. It'll make your brows look a little more structured. I'm gonna grab a spoolie and I'm gonna brush through them. I'm now gonna grab some Anastasia brow gel. Make sure these guys don't move. I'm using the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. This is her first palette and it's very neutral. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. Now we're gonna do a step that's a little bit intimidating, but trust me, you'll get through it. We're gonna grab a flat brush. This is a Sigma E55. And we're gonna grab this shade right here. It's like a chocolatey brown. So we're just gonna pack this all over the lid. Now grab a smaller brush and blend those edges out. Nothing's on this brush, by the way. Now 
Now we're going to take this even darker shade, it's the darkest matte brown in here, and do the same thing. Just tapping on some more and blending it out. Now grab a completely fresh brush and buff out those edges. It's okay if it looks a little bit patchy because we're going to cover that up. I'm going to finish up this eye and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to add this shadow by Colourpop in Millionaire. And just add that all over the lid. For these shadows, you really have to use your finger because they won't pick up with a brush. But when you use your finger, they come out so pretty. Now that that's done, I want to highlight my inner corner. For that, I'm going to be using this shade in the Juvia's Place palette. So now we're going to do the lower lash line. I'm just going to grab that dark shade that we used first. Now I'm going to grab this ColourPop liner in the shade Overboard, it's like a bronzy color, and I'm going to tight line with that. Now we're going to add a little bit more mascara so that we could just finish the eyes. We're going to give our lashes one good curl, and then leave them alone. Don't curl more than once once they're dry because they could fall out, they could get stuck to the lash curler, and that's no good. I am going to add some bottom mascara now. So now we're going to move on to the face makeup. I'm taking the butter bronzer, but this one's in bronzer, so it's a deeper shade. We're going to take this brush by Morphe, it's the R2. And now you could really go heavy with your bronzer. So since I want to make this look more dramatic, I'm going to actually contour a little bit. So I'm grabbing my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in medium. And I'm going to be taking this on a Morphe M530 brush. If you're a little bit deeper than me, this sculpting powder will be perfect. It's a little bit dark on me, but I still use it. I'm very bad at this, but I'm going to attempt to sort of contour my nose. Well, that did nothing. <laughs> Could add a little contour under your lip to make them look a little bit poutier. I don't know if it actually works, but... So now that we're all contoured, we're going to grab our highlight and I'm choosing the Ofra ones. I'm using Glazed Donut and Glow Goals, but if you're a little bit paler than me, then Glazed Donut will be perfect. If you're a little bit tanner than me, then Glow Goals will be absolutely perfect. You don't need both, it's just I'm extra. So. I'm going to take this on Actually, I'm going to spray my face first. I'm going to take this Milani setting spray. And now I'm going to take a little bit of glazed donut and a little bit of glow holes. These are intense. Like, you've got to be very careful. So while my camera shut off, <laughs> I popped on Lolita by Kat Von D, um, and this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and tell me what you guys want to see in the next one. See you guys. Bye!